Hey guys, Spider Matt here. Do a little quick video today. I'll show you how to do uh, your map investigation. So today on map investigations, we're going to go into the map or charts, and you go in here. I'm going to do the Strait of uh, Mozambique. You can change this just by hitting whatever you know. If you're in whatever area you're in, if I want to go to Northern Europe. And I want to do one of these. I did all these before, except for a couple of the little islands, a couple of the little uh, treed areas. But for now, let's do. Uh, uh, where was I? East Africa? No, South Africa. South Africa. Um, straight of Mozambique. So you choose it up here on the top. Then you hit research. I've already done it. So now, what I want to do is I want to go to my journal. I'm going to go down to map investigations. And I'm going to look. Use recognition at coordinates 1930 and 6090. So what that means is 1930 is your coordinate for east and west. 6090 is for north and south. So I keep a pen and a piece of paper beside me so I can write this down so I don't have to keep checking it over and over. So east, west, and north, south. Always remember that. That makes it so much easier. Check my provisions. Make sure I got some food here. I got enough for 17 days. Okay. Should be good. Good to go. Set sail. Okay, folks, so this is how this shit works. I'm going to go to the East West 1930. And the way to do this, so you look at your little compass down there, East West, so I'm facing south right now. I'm going to go out of this little port area. Hopefully, I don't get attacked. This game takes long enough without getting attacked. And I mean, uh, you know, bad waters, hostile waters, as you can tell by my little mini map on the bottom right. It shows a little skull on the top corner of the map here. Uh, that's, uh, you know, hostile waters. So when I get attacked, it's by boats that are quite a bit bigger than me, usually double the size of my ship. Uh, if there's only one of them, I'll uh, continue on and fight them. But usually there's two or three of them, so I'll just try to run it out, outrun them. Okay, folks, so what, what we're going to do here is I'm going to open... Hmm, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to open up my surveying rank. And there's the numbers there on my little mini-map there that I just opened. So east-west I'm going to 1930. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point my ship directly west. You can do that with the little compass ball down here. And if east is straight up, then that's the direction I'm going to go. Due east. Um, now you can see on my screen I've got a lot of pirates here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to circumnavigate these guys. So I'm not going to go straight east. I'm going to try to cut around and do what I can from my sail handling on. So I'm going uh, northeast right now. And I can tell my number. Uh, 1651, 1652. So I know that number is going in the right direction. 5528, 5527. So that number is going down. So I want that number to go up. So I'm going to change my direction. I'm going to go uh, southeast. So both of these numbers will be going up. There. 55, 25, 26. See, it's going up north and south. So that's pretty much it, folks. Um, oh, look, Johnny Quest is on. So while I'm doing this, I want to touch base on a, something that I've noticed in the last little while. 
it's something funny about you Americans. I know I have American viewers, and I just want to kind of point something out. You guys are so worried about people knowing your location. You know, I understand you have to be uh, worried about internet security and stuff. I understand that. But we're on a fucking game here, folks. And when a guy like spider Matt, which is me, I tell you I'm from fucking Canada. I don't care if you know what city I'm in. I'm in St. John, New Brunswick, Canada, okay? It's on the East Coast. I didn't give my fucking social insurance number. I didn't give you my fucking bank information. I didn't give you any of my information. It's pretty fucking hard for you to figure out who I am. Although I'm pretty open about it. I've got nothing for you to fucking steal. I've got no credit cards. I've got nothing for you to really steal. You can steal my identity if you want, but I'm pretty fucking useless. There's nothing there. But what I'm getting to with this is... If I ask an Australian or someone from England where they live, they have no problem telling me, Hey man, I'm on the southwest coast of fucking Australia. Yeah, yeah, we live in this shitty little town, blah, blah, blah. If you ask an American that same fucking question, it's like you're asking them for their credit card fucking number. Oh boy, I can't tell you. Oh, I live in the U.S. Well, what part of the U.S.? What state do you live in? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's like they're worried I'm going to get fucking hack into their system and find out where they live and start fucking checking on them or something. It's, it's fucking hilarious. Americans are so fucking worried about, you know, getting their identity fucking stolen. Most of you work at fucking Walmart anyway, so it's not like anyone wants to steal your fucking identification. But it's always been a pet peeve of mine that if I make friends on a game... I was playing Battlefield for a while. I'll use this as an example. I was playing Battlefield for a while, Battlefield 4. I met up with some really cool guys, uh, Boom and a couple of his, his brothers and a few people. And they were all fucking right cool. And I was like, hey, man, whereabouts are you guys living? Oh, we're in England, man. We're in fucking this town. I can't remember what he said, Brisbane or something. Fuck, I live in the north corner. So I went on Google Maps and I went and looked for his residence is area of residence. I didn't ask him for his fucking street address. I didn't ask him for his fucking real name, although I've got it. But he was so cool about it. Yeah, add me on Facebook, man. This is my name. Uh, yeah, and you can see, yes, he lives in some little, you know, rural community and that's great, you know? The trust level is there. He's on my Facebook. But when I ask an American that same fucking question... You know, hey, whereabouts do you live? I live in the States. Well, the fucking States is, you know, three quarters the size of Canada. You know, you can't tell me what fucking state you live in? I, you know, even if you live in fucking Alabama or Louisiana, I know you're a fucking rubberneck redneck. You know, but still, your fucking security problems are your own. You know? It just kind of makes me sick that the Americans, uh, are so fucking worried about it, their security. Okay, here, we're 1910, I want to go to 1930. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over and make sure I go south only now so the other number matches up. So 1919, 20, 21, okay, that's about it. I'm going to change it. I don't have to go to 1930, it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to go south now until I hit the second number, hits 6090. <coughs> so anyway, a little bit more about the American thing. I asked an American person where they lived. They told me Central United States. So to me, that's underneath like Ontario. Ontario's massive. The Central United States is fucking massive. What state do you live in? Oh, I can't tell you that. That's getting too private and too personal. Like I said, I didn't ask you for a fucking your social security number. I didn't ask you for your fucking address or your credit card number. I asked you what fucking state you lived in, you fucking dummies. So anyway, I've got a couple friends there that I've added on from this game. And they're so fucking scared to tell me their fucking state that they live in is like I'm some sort of a internet hacker. I've given them the info to my channel. You can see my address is posted all over my fucking YouTube channel. So it's not hard to go on Google and look for me. I'm there. Uh, I'm not hiding where I'm from. You know, 
you can even see my real fucking name on my YouTube channel. So it's not like I'm fucking, you know, that worried about my identity being stolen. Go ahead, steal it. You know, there's fucking... I'm not fucking rich. I don't have nothing really to hide. So it, it sort of disgusts me that my American friends are too fucking scared to share with me what state they're in. And, you know, it just fucking annoys me to no end. When I can Google Earth, you know, m my foreign friends from overseas, and they don't seem to have any bother with it. They'll give me their names. I can look up their actual street address on Google if I fucking want to. And, you know, it's just kind of fucking sickens me that Americans are so fucking stupid that they think that you know, if, if I really wanted to find out where you fucking lived, I could. If I wanted to find out your real fucking name, it's not hard to go onto the fucking OG planet and fucking make a complaint about someone and they, they'll give you your fucking, the person's actual name. But I don't bother doing that, it's just not worth it. So I just wanted to sort of say that little piece because it's been annoying me that I ask, you know, someone from the States to be a friend on, uh, on this game. And they're so scared to give me their fucking any, any information. I can't even tell you my first name. Everybody can kind of figure out my name's Matt. I'm Matt from Canada. From the east coast of Canada, to be precise. But uh, the Americans are just fucking terrified of this stuff there. You know, I guess their government has made them so fucking worried about terror that I, I, sp I suppose Canadians who talk like myself, I don't speak fucking, uh, you know, I'm not Muslim or anything, you know, I'm not with fucking Al-Qaeda, I'm not one of the guys that's gonna fucking get ya. Here, look, now, we're at this location, we're pretty close to the numbers that I want, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna hit my recognition, boom, very accurate, I go back up in here, to my map investigation, See, and I've already cleared this one. It gave me uh, 25%. Now I'm going to write down the coordinates for my next location. 1890. And 5716. 5716. I can also uh, sail seven days. That's going to happen either way. I can do fishing to get some more points, which I will. I don't like trying to beat the non-player characters offshore because they're all so much bigger than me. So I'll do the fishing and I'll do the coordinates. <coughs> so I'm going to find them coordinates. At the same time I'm going to pull out my fishing rod and I'm going to start fishing. I need 20 of them. Okay. And now I want to go to 1890. I've just gone this way, so I'm gonna have to go this way to get to that. Area. And I'm gonna have to go backwards. Uh, so it's gonna take a little bit of figuring out, but uh, I'll go up this way and see if that works. My clicker should go backwards now. 1931. I need it to go backwards. So I'm gonna have to turn around. Face northwest and see if that works yeah so I just wanted to get that off my chest it's just kind of funny that uh, my American f people that I meet on here are so fucking terrified to add me on Facebook like I'm gonna steal their identity they're fucking hilarious Americans are just cause the whole fucking world hates your fucking guts doesn't mean Canada hates your guts you know I could care less uh, you guys are gonna fucking vote in Hillary? Go ahead. The very minute Hillary fucking takes office, I hope the fucking Russia blows you up. I hope they fucking nuke you to death for being so fucking stupid and following such a fucking idiot. Trump's no better. This is the kind of the funny paradox that I find is that you guys blame everybody else for your fucking problems in this earth. And it's, and it's kind of fucking hilarious to me that, that, uh, you know, you have two people 
that you're gonna fucking have for, uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way here, I gotta go south. Y you guys, we, 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 we here in Canada try to elect someone that's fucking like the best of the best. You know what I mean? We, we try to elect for our, pre our prime minister the best of the best. Now we got Justin Trudeau, he's a fucking idiot. Everybody knows it. But at least he's a good looking idiot. You guys, the very fucking best you in the, in the States have to offer is Hillary and Trump. Like, come fucking on. If this is the best you guys have to fucking offer, you guys may as well just fucking drown yourselves now. Really? Trump and Hillary are the best that the States have to offer for a fucking presidential candidate? Wow. Like, you guys deserve to get fucking nuked after that. Fucking totally retarded. And most of the people in the states are fucking totally retarded. I can understand now why nobody fucking likes you, because it's, it's just stupid. You can't add someone on the fucking Facebook because you're so fucking scared. It's sickening. You know, and of my American friends, if none of you fucking like me after this, I don't give a fuck anyway. Erase me. You know? Have fun with that. It's just sad and pathetic. So, that's the end of my little rant, guys. Uh, that's all I'm going to say on the topic. My American friends who don't want to add me on Facebook, you can go fuck yourselves. I really don't care. I've got a hundred other friends that are from other parts of the world that will add me. And, uh, you know, don't mind voice chatting with me and stuff. So, you know, it's all fucking fine and dandy. But, you're acting like everybody's out to get you is, uh, just makes you look fucking stupid. Makes you look stupid as fuck. And the last time I was on with the, the with the person that I'm fucking actually talking about right now, they had me in their party, and they decided to private chat with their other friends and leave me out of the kind of the loop for the whole conversation. You know, you think I'm stupid and I don't know that that's what you were doing. I know that's exactly what you were doing. Because you fucked up and private messaged me a couple things, and I didn't know what the fuck you were talking about. And it was kind of a dead giveaway. So, you don't like it, go fuck yourself. Have a good day, guys. Subscribe, like, uh, share. Uh, you can see I'm not hiding any of my information. So, have a good one.